Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am doing another makeup tutorial today. I am doing um another excuse me another my voice keeps going in now. I am doing another celebrity makeup. <coughs> today I'm doing the <clears throat> lovely and beautiful Shannon Purser from Stranger Things. She plays Barb. Um, I'm doing her look from the SAG Awards, which is this very <clears throat> red lip, vintage eye, cat eye look, and I think it looks so pretty. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyes first. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Wet n Wild primer, which I don't use just for my face. I use it also for my lid, so it helps lock in the eyeshadow that I need. <clears throat> For her makeup, it looks like she's wearing a very natural looking makeup. So we're going to use a shimmer. I'm going to use a highlight as a shimmering eyeshadow for this look. I'm going to be using um, from the Anastasia Glow Kit and that glow. We're going to be using this, the golden bronze for that one. And we're going to place this all over the lid. You could also use a more champagne-y color if you need to, but this is what I want to do, just to bring out my eye color a little bit more. Or you could even use a pearl white color if you want to. I'm just going for what goes best for my eyes and what I like. I tried looking at pictures for her eye look and I couldn't really find any, so I tried, I'm just guessing right now. And just to give a little more definition, I'm taking my NARS Virtual Domination uh, cheek palette, and I'm gonna be using um, this um, Laguna Laguna bronzer. I haven't used Laguna bronzer in like so long. And I'm just gonna carve it out with this black brush, and I'm gonna buff it out. Just a little more definition to it. <laughs> every time it seems like every time, like my last um, celebrity makeup was the Lily Collins one, and it was raining that day, <laughs> and it's raining again this day, so so sorry if the lighting is not that great. <laughs> I also like using Laguna bronzer because it gives a more natural looking to the eye shape for definition. <clears throat> I'm trying to stay in the crease area. I'm not trying to go above it or anything. If you have a certain eye shape that you need to go above the crease a little bit, then do so. Alrighty. So I'm going to add a little more product to the side. <coughs> oh my god. So sorry to hear sniffles throughout this video. I think I'm getting sick. Again. <laughs> I just got over being sick. But I have like no time to like heal because I'm like constantly on the move. I'm never stopping. So yeah. We're going to come back to the eyes for the eyeliner and mascara. We're going to move on to the face. So we're going to use the same primer for our face, which I love this primer. It's one of like my holy grails for like the drugstore. I haven't tried too many primers, but I would like to. Leave suggestions down below for you, for me to try um, new primers. <laughs> Starting next week, next Friday. Um, I'm doing a new series on my channel. I'm gonna do it once a month. So, so next week's video is gonna be the start of a new series. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm really excited to do it. I think it's gonna be a good one to try. <laughs> okay. Um, and then she has such a flawless but more natural looking. Um, well, as I can see the picture over here, it's very flawless. We're doing very flawless look. So I'm going to mix two foundations that are my favorites and they're both from Wet n Wild. It's actually, they're not both from Wet n Wild. Just kidding. One's from Rimmel. It's the same matte liquid mousse foundation which is one of my favorites. As you can tell it's like almost gone. <coughs> and then the next one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, foundation which I absolutely love to death. I like wear this all the time. It has become one of my favorites this month. I've been just like wearing it like non-stop. And then it comes with this, it comes with a weird tool to apply this but that don't matter. It don't matter. Nope. <laughs> and then my beauty blender, I'm going to dab that all in.
Okay, next up I'm going to use that Rimmel Fay Matte Mousse just to apply to my uh, area where I need the most coverage. So it's basically my teeth, basically, because I need help there. Just keep looking at the picture, sorry, just making sure. See what I have to do next. I love this foundation because it's so, like, blendable. <coughs> And you guys don't have to wear this merch foundation, I'm just doing it for this video. Because <laughs> I want to get a flawless look. I usually don't wear this much foundation. But, just for the sake of this video, to get that flawless, celebrity look, I'm just going to. And then voila. Um, next, just to um, clear up any dark circles I have, I probably do because I stay up late at night, I'm going to use my next dark circle corrector. I'm going to apply this with a brush and then blend it in with another beauty blender. Because I don't like blending in with this brush. <laughs> to cancel out my... This is basically a peach um, color corrector. See there? If you're trying to get rid of dark circles, it works out so well. I also put this just around my nose just to help a little bit and brighten it up a little bit. So using another beauty blender, we're going to dab that in. So get rid of those dark circles. And like it like and brighten it up a little bit. Like I seriously use this clip this um dark circle corrector instead of a concealer and it works so much better. I think it does. Those who have like like I have faintly dark circles after the after the foundation. But those who have like intense looking dark circles may want to do a concealer like a little bit of concealer over it. Next, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild <coughs> Mega Glow Stick in the contour. Just con We're just going to use a cream contour today because that she doesn't look like she's wearing much bronzer on her face. Not that I can see from the pictures. And then like, not next. Next week I'm starting my new series, but then the week after that I'm doing another um, celebrity Make, um, makeup. I'm thinking about doing a hair tutorial also with it. I'm going to use another beauty blender for the cream contour. Just because I think it blends so much better. I think a brush um, takes away some pigmentation from the, con the cream contour. So I'm going to use a beauty blender to keep the pigmentation. We're going to mile it down once we put the powder on. <coughs> so it works. Just to make sure it blends in a little bit, just gonna brush. I only use a brush if I'm going by my hairline just to blend it in because beauty blender. I cannot do with the beauty blender with that. Nope, nope, nope. You have another fresh looking to this. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. blush in Rose Royalty. It's really pretty, uh, pink, rosy color, which is like more of an going for that more natural looking skin. So we're going more like a, a very 1950s vibe with this, but they have a more natural face looking but intense cat eye, eyeliner, and red lips. No, I'm not using beauty blender. I'm just going to use a brush. It's from my um, QC Makeup Academy, which I love. I use a foundation brush, but I just use a blush brush. Well, for cream contour. That cream contour, cream blushes, because it look works. It blends out so pretty. So any rose colored um, blushes will work out best. Just find the one that matches your skin type. <laughs> and then next we're going to use some highlighter because it doesn't look like she's wearing much highlighter. So which one do I want to use? I have my two glow kits for Anastasia. I'm just figuring out what color I want to use. I think I'm going to use <coughs> Starburst to blend in with that um, blush. So I'm going to use this color Starburst, which is that pink toned colored um, highlighter. And just dab off the excess. And 
on the nose just to get that those highlight points and a little bit on the forehead just a little bit not too much winged eyeliner now I'm going to be doing my sateen liquid eyeliner and it's in waterproof this is what it looks like I love the um, applicator with the thing it's perfect for cat perfect it's like a little pin and hers is her liquid eyeliner that's just a little bit thick but not too much and it also it also it looks a little thick but I think it might be the shape of her eyes so it looks thicker on the outside and thinner on the inside that's what I'm gonna do I'm just trying to match hers I seriously hate stuffy noses And there is where did the bottom go actually? I don't even know. Ah, found it. <coughs> I'm gonna do the next eye off camera. So but I'm just gonna show you guys this eye. Um, so yeah. For mascara, I'm gonna use my Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam, which is like perfect fitting for this look because it's a very 50s look. <laughs> Oh, I hate stuffy noses so much. And I'm not using any false lashes um, today because, like, you guys can if you want to. I just personally do not want to. And then on top of that, I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandalized Extreme Mascara. If you don't like clumpy mascaras, this is not the one for you. You guys see the difference? You see how I made it appear look like it's false? <laughs> so yeah, there's a little cheat sheet for you guys if you don't like false lashes. You just use two um, mascaras, one for length and then one for volumizing, and then you get this false lash look. So I did do my brows off camera and the other eye. So next we're going to use do the lower lash line, powder face, then lips. So for the bottom lash line, lash bottom lashes, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara, which is another one of my favorites for this month because I've been using it nonstop. I also use it as like a brow um, gel if I don't have any on me. It works just the same. Okay, so for to powder my face, today, I'm gonna use my L Finishing Powder. Looks like this is um has a mirror. Like the case on that like the case itself looks like a mirror. It's like a magnified mirror, you know. So we powdered it all. Look at how more natural that looks compared to this. Once we powdered it down. I think it looks pretty good. Like everything is gonna still seep through, but it's gonna be more natural base now. And that's what we wanna go for for this look. Because she has a very natural makeup on, but you can still see, um, like, the blush and the little bit of contour on it. She didn't have much. She had a little bit. <laughs> so we're still sculpting the face, but just minimizing it a bit. And I'm going to put a little bit around my nose, because that's where I tend to need it the most my nose and my cheek. So next up we're gonna do lips. So I'm gonna use these two lip products. One, this one is from Clean Color. It's the Master Strokes Longwear Matte Lipstick in, let's see if it tells me, Festive Tango. This is a more a bit of a red, of an orangey red color, but once we put the liquid lipstick on it, it's gonna be all good. This is more like a base for the liquid lipstick. Okay, now we're going to use that liquid lipstick, which is from Tattoo Junkie, and it's in Pucker Up. I love these, and they're so affordable. I think it was $6, I believe. And 
And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit up that like button for me. Just so I know if you guys are liking these style of videos. And I will see you all on Sunday for another Disney Sunday video. Bye, fools.